GCSE Geography is a fascinating subject that builds on much of the work you've already done in class. Geography is the study of places and the relationship between people and their environments. Geographers explore both the physical properties of the Earth's surface and the human societies spread across it. GCSE Geography is loved by employers because geographers have a well-rounded understanding and appreciation of the world. Geography also develops a huge range of skills that employers look for. Colleges and universities also like to see geography as a good stepping stone onto a vast range of different courses. We will be following the edxl -A GCSE course, so let's find out how it's set up and what you'll be learning. The edxl -A course is split into three main sections. The physical environment, which is paper one, the human environment, which is paper two, and geographical investigations, which is paper three. Let's look at the physical environment first. The following topics are found in paper one. In section A, you will explore the changing nature of the UK's physical landscape, studying the geological development of our uplands and lowlands, as well as two topics from river landscapes, coastal landscapes, and glacial landscapes in the UK. We will examine the nature of these physical landscapes and try to understand how they develop and change, and how they can affect those who live nearby. By developing management techniques, we can live more harmoniously with these features. Maybe you will develop the next great river flood defence, or a new form of coastal management that will save a village. Section B will explore weather hazards, such as cyclones and droughts, and the reasons for our changing climate. As a geographer, you will look at what's causing changes to our climate and how this can impact on the weather patterns and systems that develop around the world. Could you be the one to solve global climate change in the future? Finally, onto Section C, where you will investigate ecosystems, biodiversity and management. You will examine ecosystems such as tropical rainforests and deciduous woodlands, understanding ecosystems both on a small scale along with global biomes. By understanding the characteristics of these precious places, we can see how they're being affected, along with how we can protect them and use them sustainably in the future. The second paper is concerning the human environment, so let's see what's in store for you here. Section A looks at changing cities, and you will examine various urban issues and challenges relating to how the world is rapidly growing, and you'll focus on a case study of a major UK city. Exploring the function and structure of your chosen city, as well as the impact of globalisation, will help you to develop strategies for improving people's lives. Your investigations will take you to a major city in a developing or emerging country, and you can look into the issues they have, the problems this causes, and the solutions they've developed. You could be the next person to create better living conditions for people who are living in poverty. Section B investigates global development to see how the world is changing economically, how we can measure this and how people in emerging countries can develop strategies to reduce the development gap. We will look at the development of one developing or emerging country as a case study and understand the steps that have been taken to improve both their quality of life and standard of living through things like trade and geopolitical and technological connectivity. Section C is resource management and you will investigate how this is fundamental to our way of life, none more so than food, energy and water. You'll make in-depth investigations into either energy resource management or water resource management to find out what pressures there are in these areas and what we can do to sustainably develop them in the future. Could you be the one to create sustainable water supply for a developing country or develop a new form of renewable energy? Paper 3 focuses on geographical investigations in the form of fieldwork and UK challenges. You'll go out of school on field trips to examine either a river or the coast and either an urban or rural settlement, developing your own inquiry. You will also examine the UK in a little more depth, from resource consumption to environmental sustainability, from landscape changes to climate change challenges. So that's it in a nutshell. GCSE Geography is a fascinating course that will be a great addition to your CV and will help you understand and shape the world in which we live.